1998, you released your debut album, My Balls, awesome. My Word, on No Limit slash C Local Rapper slash uh, Priority. Uh, yeah, man. Now, classic album, classic album, push play from beginning to end. Now, you yes, featured on one of the biggest songs. From now, you get your own situation and you put your own <laughs> album out. Uh, what's the feeling at that time, bro? Because now it's about you. It's not y'all, now it's your shit. Now, what, what's, what's the feeling at that time, bro? Um, added to how, how we was just speaking. From that, it's just greater and greater. You know, I wake up from a hotel room one day, wipe my eyes out and didn't even have breath. Six, seven in the morning, it's a big ass yacht, <laughs> a mansion on the beach, a Bentley, you know, oh, wow. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's not mine, I don't write for the owner, but this is my video. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Put together, all I had to do was show up and, you know, play the part. So, I wanna say that, I might have was in Malibu, California. I might be mistaken, but somewhere off the ocean. I remember being so far from land, we didn't see no land. All I saw was fields and seaweed. You see what I'm saying? So it's a real term, you know, it's real, you know, true facts when they say, you know, you can get seasick. So that's what I did without eating properly and all that. You know, I didn't sell their ferry boats back home and different, different stuff like that. But in the middle of that ocean, you know, and trying to balance through a video, we drank a Don Perry Young smoking. I'm doing what I do every day on the solid ground, but you know, I need the, the boat to be solid. It ain't going to never yeah. stop. So with you, yeah. uh, imagine that, you know what I mean? Girls everywhere, anything, you know, a young, young rapper or whatever you could dream was right there, but at that fast pace, but learning your life balance at the same time. I tossed up, got myself together, went ate some saltine crackers or something like that and finished the videos. So, you know, a lot of people think it's all funny game, but it's like you gotta go to a training camp to be prepared for, yeah. Okay, What's right. gonna go next? Um shout right. out to corrupt from the dog pound and say a lot of people, we'll talk about this. A lot of people can't handle success. We all say what we're gonna do when we get it, but you ain't never had it, so you don't know what you're gonna really do and have to do. So right. all that was taking place at one time in milliseconds. Right, right. So we got through it, everything was beautiful. You know, rest in peace to um tiny um um um, listen, man. Um, yeah, Debo. Yeah, Debo. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but um, that day, if you see when you look at that video, you see here in the video, so he I hung out with him. Yeah, he was a real humble guy, real, you know, opposite of his character. And we was able to have conversation. He took to me, I took to him. So you know, it hurt my heart that you know I didn't even see that coming when I saw that he, you know, passed away. But I had to mention that you know with him coming out. Having that cameo and being the person he was, you know, I'm still in my head of nobody. I'm growing into my, you know, local ghetto celebrity into, you know, worldwide fame with those type of people that's there to show their love and support. So, here again, rest in peace, to Tiny Little.